What's going on guys? On here to talk some NFL free agency real quick. I want to hear you guys' thoughts. What do you think about everything that's been going on? You got the Patriots going all out, spending ridiculous amounts of money. Um, you got Andy Dalton to the Bears. You got Dak signing for a bunch of money coming off that injury. Joe Tunney from the Patriots going to the uh, to the Chiefs after releasing their tackles. So let's hear it. What do you guys think? What, uh, what are some thoughts and good, bad, you know, everything. Let me hear it. High level. Love what my Patriots did. Significantly better. They're going to win the AFC East. You can mark my words. A lot better in the offensive line. Most likely go back to the Super Bowl since I know my Patriots probably won't. Plus, they had the best player in the world in Patrick Mahomes. I think a lot of teams got worse and just a few teams got significantly better. That's like the vibe I'm getting. And also, Dak got paid. He should have. And like the Bears might be better, but I'm not sure. I got to start and end my argument with the Chargers are the cheapest team in the NFL. Somebody tell Spanos you can't move to LA and not spend money. Secondly, Bill Belichick decided to wake up, put on the Darth Vader mask, and say, you think Tommy's going to be the first guy since our Patriots squad back in the LOs to go back-to-back? I think not. And lastly, Dalton signing with the Bears is the most Bears thing ever. I love it. Tampa Bay has had the best offseason of anyone so far. Going into the offseason, the biggest questions are, are they going to lose Godwin? Are they going to lose Levante? Are they going to lose Shaquille? Are they going to lose whoever? They resigned them all. And even added Gronk. So they're reloading, baby. They might lose Fortnite. That's, that's big. But, I mean, Andy Dalton to the Bears. I mean, that's like, you know, they're hearing about Russell Wilson. You know, like filet mignon. And then you get Andy Dalton, Mr. Skirt Steak. I mean, I just feel bad for the Bears right now. But Patriots, I like what they did. They re- yeah, this has been pretty awesome to watch. The Patriots scramble like they've never scrambled before. All you Patriots fans, you lost your golden boy. That's what happens. Brady leaves, and you realize that you're not, you're not anything. You're really not much. You just have an old coach, and that's about it. So they scramble, they scramble, they scramble. They pick up some, some average players at best. Listen, man. Watch the football team getting its magic. Oh my gosh, I love it. The Bears getting Dalton, the most Bears thing ever. Tooney going to the Chiefs, clearing up some decimation that happened on that Chiefs offensive line, but they're going to be a okay because they got Mahomesy, right? We just need to now figure out what's going to happen with these wide receivers. I love that the Patriots are going to go 12 personnel, but you're showing your hand a little bit earlier. Let's see what happens with these big time receivers. Big Dalt, Andrew Wiley here. We got a great battle going today. Let me just say, shout out to all my boys that got their tender contracts today. Congratulations. Patriots adding two elite tight ends to their offense. I think Cam is going to have a great year. I think that's going to be a completely different team. Bears. Love it. You don't need Russell Wilson, apparently. Make it work with the Red Rocket, baby. Hey, I just went back on Sports Me app, and I saw that Andrew Wiley... Posted something, and I'm stoked being a cheese fan. I mean, I even got the tattoo right there. I mean, hopefully they can. I mean, they got Tooney. Maybe they can get somebody else. That's right. NFL free agency. You know, for me, I'm a Steelers fan. You know, a lot of players I really liked, you know, either got released or signed somewhere else or are going to sign somewhere else because Pittsburgh doesn't have enough money to bring them back. You know, feels great. You know, let's go 2021. I'm dead inside.